I've got a couple of cool old jackets here and they're cool to me because these are old hunting jackets. This is my dad's. He was born in 1934. And this one is my granddad's. He was born in 1900. I was going to do both of these jackets at the same time, but you know what? It's just too, might be too long and boring. So I'm going to split them up. I'm going to do my grandfather's first. And this is a, an old jacket. And this is a Canada Goose brand uh, made by Woods. Anyway, I think it's very cool. I still have these jackets. And I'm going to go over my grandfather's jacket first uh, in this video. He was uh, a huge upland game hunter, uh, pheasant and uh, grouse. And he loved dogs and he was an awesome guy. He kind of introduced me to the whole birding thing. Back in the day, we'd go bird watching and all kinds of cool stuff. So I got nothing but great memories from him. And he's got this awesome jacket and I'm gonna go through it with you today. All right, guys, let's take a look at the game pouch. It, of course, goes the width of the coat. So it's, it goes right across and there's zippers on both sides. And let's take a look inside here because who knows what we'll find. I opened up this game pouch and you can see the feathers in there still. But in the corner, which is pretty awesome, is another button. So that is great. Hopefully I can find more. These are really cool buttons. They're like leather wrapped, old school, pretty cool. So you open these zippers up and they're there because you have to be able to wash this thing out. three buttons to open it up and then zippers on each side there's still feathers in it and maybe a few guts vintage guts so there it is uh, no surprises really um, I don't know what this is this feels like a wax canvas um, and it looks like it too I believe that's what it is so that's pretty cool. It's, it feels a little bit plastic or rubbery, but I, I think it's wax canvas. And you can see the feathers of what he liked to hunt. He was an upland game hunter. Um, I have his old 12, or sorry, I have his old uh, double barrel side-by-side -side 16 gauge Stevens shotgun from back in the day. And uh, he hunted upland game. He loved his dogs and he loved his birds. Um, he liked his birds cooked. But that's the pouch, and you can see it's still got stuff in it. Little hairs and all kinds of stuff. But it also has tobacco, and he was a pipe smoker. He always had a pipe, and in every pocket of this jacket, there is pipe tobacco. Anyway, let's close it up. And here's what I'm talking about as far as what's inside the pockets. Actually, you can see the lining on this. It's felt on the one side and other some other kind of material. Looks like a comfy sock material. And there you go, there's all that tobacco I was talking about. It smells awesome. Overall, the jacket's in pretty good shape. You know, there's some wear here, but obviously he used this a lot. Uh, the stitching has come loose here on this big pouch. Uh, front pockets, there's two of those. And this one is in good shape, no issues with it. Nothing in the pockets, just some more tobacco. And it's also got the chest pockets. And again, well used for sure. And they're lined inside. So he's looking like he's missing a couple buttons here. One there, one there, and this guy here. This is a cool button, it's like a leather, kind of an old school button. Um, but I wonder if that's original. Up top here on the collar, you've got these kind and they go all the way around just like the filson jackets um, these are meant uh, are here so you can attach a hood to it probably had like a tin cloth hood maybe out of the same material that the game pouch is in we're taking a look at the shoulders on this guy and they're padded and reinforced so that's awesome and they're in perfect condition and we got gussets on the end armpits and uh so, you know, lots of movement there. You're not gonna have any issues with this coat. And look at the stitching. Uh, in these pouch pockets up front here, I noticed these two tabs. There's one on each side. And you can see the other one here. It doesn't have any buttons on it or doesn't look like it ever did. Not sure what that's for. 
um, but they're there. And these guys aren't lined. So you know what, you could stuff a bird in there if you had to. But I'm sure you had enough room in the back pouch. So here's the cuff and here's the button, the same button that's up around the collar. So I'm thinking those other leather buttons are, you know, are not the original. So this is pretty cool in here. This has a sleeve uh, sewn in and it's pretty heavy duty. And look at the shape this thing's in. It's in like mint shape, perfect condition. It's like it's never been worn, amazing. And the sleeves are lined. Here's what it uh, looks like inside the sleeve. Another heavy duty material. And again, you've got all this, uh, I, th I believe this is wool. I'm gonna flip it around here. You've seen the front. And again, it's in beautiful shape. He was about five foot 10, so I, it doesn't really fit me, this jacket, but I am obviously keeping it. So let's look at the back here. Okay, here's the, it's got a back yoke. And what these are for is if it's pouring rain out or snow or whatever, it's gonna come off, it's gonna come down here and not soak your back. It's gonna shed it off in the back of the jacket. And this is interesting for sure. This is from Barbed Wire Fence. I believe he told me that, stuck in my head. And this is ripped because he was always crawling under or over barbed wire fences. Of course, he had permission on the properties he was hunting, but that's what that is. And it looks like he just glued it on there. And yeah, there it is. And again, buttons up top here um, for the, the hood. So this is a Canada Goose brand, but it's a Woods Canada Goose brand. And obviously I don't think they're affiliated with today's Canada Goose coats. Um, but this is an awesome, awesome hunting coat. And I believe this is from the 50s. I tried to dig up some more info on it, but I can't really find a lot on it. Anyway, very cool jacket, and I hope you like that. It's a little bit different, but uh, it is a gear review for sure, and this one goes way back.